it's very happy to see you again. And today I'm going to introduce a very important part of the tree life. And this video I hope to give to my good friend Felix. And thanks for him to subscribe to my channel. As you can see from the picture in front of us, it is a drawing of the drum brake axle. It is quite common in the trailer. So today we are not going to talk about the clock axle or any other axles. We are going to only talk about the trailer axle. Here is a picture. It would help you to understand what the axle looks like. That is a quite important part, and it is almost on all the trailers. It will be the similar axle like this. If a trailer has no axle, then it lost the connection between the frame and to the ground. The axle is the middle part to combine the tire and the suspension and the frame together. That is why it is such an important part for all the trailers. Here is another picture. You can see from here, this is the axle. It's combined with the tire. And here is another tire. Up on the axle, you have the leaf spring here. And here. You can see the suspension here. And also the frame. This picture is giving you a lot of axles has been assembled with the leaf springs and the spring seats. It is ready to do the next step assembling on the trailer. This is the next step. We molded the tire on the left and right drum and we put the leaf spring on the axle and we also install the braking chamber on the axle so the braking chamber can give the brake signal to the axle when the driver needs the trailers to stop. Here is a picture you can see more clear on the other side. This is the ammo shaft which is an important part to pass the signal from the braking chamber to the braking drum to start a brake. This picture would give you a better view without the tire. Three of them in a line. We use the jack at the bottom of the axle to do the assembling before we do any other assemblings. So we first assemble those axles from the ground to the frame, then we assemble the tire on. For the axles, we have a lot of uh, different parts to make it work. If we see outside, we cannot see it very clear. So I have uh, disconnected uh, one axle to show you the part. Here is how it looks when it's mounted with the rim. But if you disconnected it, you would have the drum, you would have the drum out. This is the drum. If you don't understand what this part is, please have a look like here. It is this part. I removed it off from the axle. This is the, the view seen from the inside to the outside. 
those are the knots and stern of the boat. Here is the bearing position. This is another view. This view will give you clear idea what the breaking drum looks like from this side. Here is another view. You can easily see the tire bolt and nuts on the axle. If we remove the drum from the axle head, you will see it is like this. First, you will see the axle beam with a lot of greasing, and uh, we remove the bearing, and then you can see the braking shoes here. It gives power to break the trailer. Let's change of view, see another picture. This picture would give you more clear view to see this is the braking pad. The braking pad, if we hit the braking panel, it will move up a little bit to this position. It will touch the surface here. And then it gives power to stop it. When you are hitting the braking panel, the power gives from the camel shift here and to this part. This part is special size. If you move it, it will be like this position. Then the two braking pad move up and down to touch the braking drum. Let's see if we could have a more clear picture. Here, you can see. This is the special design. If it moves from this position to this position, the width will be larger than before. Then the braking panel can be touched to the left and the right. Then you will have the braking power. Once you release it, it will back to the position like this. The spring here can break bring the braking pad back to the position without the braking power. So this is a how the braking works. This is a camel shift we were talking about, and it passes the power to the inside, then the inside would have the braking pad to touch the drum. Here is another angle view. You can see the side and the shapes of this part. So after that we put the braking drum back, you can see we have the axle head on the outside and then you need to grease it to make it a working wheel. Of course if you do not need any braking part you can remove it like this one. We remove or hold the braking part. So this axle is just uh, rolling, rolling in the yard, but without any braking function. You need to slow drive it very slow. Of course, they always drive it very slow. That's why they ask the braking system to be removed. There are many brands of the axle. I mean, trailer axle we are talking about. Uh, in China, the biggest one is Fuhua. It's called Fuhua. And it is always uh, with this uh, logo. Of course, the best quality in China we see it is BPW. It's BPW in China. Another axle we usually use for the overseas market is York. Of course, we have many, many other brands of axles you can choose, but those are the most famous three brands. I cannot uh, deny York is going down, so the two major brands in China is Fuhua and BPW. Fuhua got the 
big share of the market, but BPW has the quality reputation in China. Here is uh, some pictures to show you how we are mounting those uh, axles to the frames. It, uh, it looks a little bit dangerous for our employees to do that, but we have, do have the safety jack in the front and in the back. Here are some uh, instructions how we are welding those axles to the spring seat and to show you where we need to weld and where we cannot to make sure the quality is uh, good. This picture shows you the round type axle. If you noticed, we have a different uh, shape of the axle. This one, the axle beam, is round shape. Of course, we have the squared axle, such like this one. The axle beam is squared shape. Like this one, you can see it's much clearer. It's square shape. In the American, they use the round shape axle more than square axle. In China, we use a lot of the square shape axle. Here is more picture. You can see how we are assembling them together. We need to assemble the springs on the spring seat of the axle. And according to the welding, guiding books to do the right welding and then we do all the jobs and waiting for the assembling and after checking we can do some re-welding here this is how we are doing it on, on the ground and this is a um, different axle we are going to only talk a few pictures here to show you we have a different axles but most of them is the drum axle like this one it's uh, for normal semi trailer here is a picture uh, one of our employee is doing the preparing welding the spring seat this is uh, how it uh, been done after the employee welded the spring sheet and uh, mount the spring on top of it And if uh, our client is only asking the axle, we usually use containers to do the shipping. And we use the forklift to load our axles in, into the containers. And then we ship it by containers. Each 20 foot container could load about uh, 55 pieces or 58 pieces. 30 ton payload axle. Here is a drawing to show you uh, how many parts of the axle is. But you don't have to master all the parts, so you just have the idea what the braking drum, what the hub, and how the braking, uh, how the axle beam looks like, and what the Breaking pad looks like and uh, camel shift and uh, slack adjuster, something like that. And that's uh, that's all for the axles. I hope you guys enjoy the video today, and uh, I hope you guys understand uh, how the normal trailer axle looks like. If you have any questions or anything you want to know, please leave a message below or send us emails. We shall try our best to answer according to what we need. Okay, thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye.